So our structure, our business structure is a sole proprietorship. And that was just path of least resistance, really. I mean, at the time, I was really looking into creating a worker-owned cooperative structure. That was something that I valued a lot because I feel like workers that just show up, me as a worker at the time, you know, just showing up for a job or whatever, you're not really invested in it. Whereas a worker-owned cooperative model, I really liked at the time, and I still do. It's a little complicated to set up, so that's why I didn't go that route. Um, but that's what I originally envisioned was because then everybody that's a part of the farm is equally invested in its success. You share the profit of the work and you can see that on a daily basis. So, you know, five years, the five years ago, me in 2018, that's what I envisioned. <laughs> I didn't have as many people that had the same visions, which is very important to make that happen. Otherwise it won't. So sole proprietorship was like, I had the vision. I'm, I'm, I'm not stopping. We're going. And that was the easiest way to go at the time. If I knew then what I know now, the only thing I would change is probably going to an LLC as a business structure for the protection from your personal assets and things like that. Separating that a little bit more um, on the legality side of things. Other things I would suggest to somebody in my shoes at that time or somebody who might be interested in farming now, um, looking for land and starting their businesses, I would suggest really focusing on the business side of things right away, as soon as possible. As soon as possible, understanding that it's, it's a learning curve and I'm still learning five years in. And now I'm focusing on the business side of things because I have to. <laughs> the pandemic was a part of that nudge but like I have to to be able to cover bills and those type of things so knowing the business side things the cost knowing the cost to grow is something I would suggest um land of course you know I would encourage anybody that can afford land to own it to buy it not lease it if you if you can get by you know if you can make it happen and yeah, just really focusing on the finances and understanding the finances early on, really getting that skill developed early on is going to be so valuable later on. But the business side of things, you can't, you can't survive long term if you don't have a, a solid business model in, in place.